So this video is for those of you who have a sunny and a shady front yard, and if it wasn't enough of a challenge, you got deer. So we're gonna go out to Baldwin, Missouri, where I'm gonna show you how we can take a boring, outdated front yard and create something beautiful that tackles both the sun and shade, and of course is deer proof. So the problem is, how do you create a cohesive vibe with plants that work in both the sun and the shade. Well, make sure you stick around to the end of the video where you're gonna see the final reveal and go check out the description below where I'm gonna put a list of the plants that are in this design as well as a couple bonus plants that work well that are deer proof for sun and shade. So let's throw the design up there. We're gonna to start to see this thing come to life. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, you know the drill. My name is Bobby Kay. I am a professional landscape designer and general contractor. And I love to help people all over the country who are struggling. They're struggling to visualize what their landscaping can be. And I help you by giving you out lots of pro tips, but showing you designs that can be a template for you that give you a clear and easy path to success. Okay, so the first part in creating an awesome front yard that has curb appeal is working some beds in there, creating some interest. I love to bring out beds around the trees and nice curves and just creating enough space where you can actually plant. Now here's the trick to this kind of yard. You wanna know how the sun basically shines down on this. Where's the shady spot? Where's the sunny spot? Well, as you can imagine, the tree is where all the shade plants are, and over by the retaining wall is where it gets a little bit more sun. So, you want to almost break your front yard into two zones, shady and the sunny, and know which plants are gonna correlate in there. Which leads me to number two. When you are selecting your plants, you wanna have a cohesive vibe, and how you're gonna do this amongst shady plants and sunny plants is with color. Pick pops of color, maybe two or three, four at the most, I would say, and then take those different spots of color and balance them out. Have some sunny plants that are, say, of the pink variety, and then maybe some shady ones that are pink. Or here's a green and here's another green. Whatever you decide to do, but balance out with color. And the final tip is a height balance. You've got this big tree right here, and you've even got a Japanese maple tree in the retaining wall, but there's nothing else on the other side of the landscaping in the front. So how we did that is we put some arborvitaes that kind of hide that wall along the garage and bring some balance to the height. So you're playing with the different zones, you're playing with color, and you're playing with heights. And that's how you're gonna bring a cohesive vibe to this entire thing. And at the same time, you're hiding the fact that you've got sunny plants, shady plants, and they're deer resistant at the same time. At first, our client had a boring yard with absolutely no curb appeal. And every time they tried to make it nice, the deer would just eat up their investment. But through some clever designing and planting tricks, they now have a space that they're proud of and they love driving up to knowing that the deer aren't gonna have a snack and it's gonna look good year round. All right, so you might be asking yourself, well, that's all good, but I got a full blown sunny yard. I don't have any shade. This doesn't really help me out. Well, I got you covered. Go check out this video right here. This is an awesome little point perspective design that shows how you can take something super boring and bland and create something awesome in full blown sun. So. This is Bobby Kay saying creation is everything. So go out and create and I'll see you on the next video.